Welcome to Electron Line. The next property we want to look at, kind of an easy property, is called the time reversal property. What happens if we have a function in the time domain and we take the Fourier transform and then we get the Fourier transform of that function in the frequency domain? What if we now replace the t by negative t, so reverse the time? Well, it turns out that if we take the Fourier transform of the function with the reverse time, we get a function with the reversed frequency. Now let's show you why that is so. So here we have the Fourier transform of the original function but with the time reversed. So when we put that into general format, we have the integral from minus infinity to infinity of f of negative t e to the minus j omega t. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to make a substitution. We're going to let x equal negative t that means that dx will be equal to negative dt and let's see here, well then t will be equal to minus x. I think that's all we're going to need. Now we're ready to take our substitutions, plug them into equations, so instead of having a function of t or negative t, we're going to have a function of x, but we want to put it in the same format as before. So this becomes equal to the integral of f of x instead of f of negative t. Now since the limits went from minus infinity to infinity, when we have the function expressed as negative t, but now we replace it by positive x, we want to switch our limits around, we go from positive infinity to negative infinity. And then we have e to the minus j omega, but instead of t, we're going to plug in a negative x. So that makes this positive, put this as an x, and then instead of dt, we're going to plug in a negative dx, so minus dx. So now what we can do with the minus here, we can move it to the front of the integral, but then we can apply it to the limits and turn the limits around again, so this becomes equal to the integral from minus infinity to infinity of f of x, and then we want to place this in this format right here, so we're going to call this a minus omega and put a minus over here, so that will be equal to e to the minus j times minus omega times x times dx like this and now we're ready to integrate so now when we integrate notice if we have the same format as before except if this was a positive t then we would end up with f of omega but since we have a minus omega here this will then become f of minus omega everything else being the same so this becomes equal to the Fourier transform of minus omega which means that if we have a time reversal in the time domain, it causes a frequency reversal in the frequency domain. And that's what we call the time reversal property. Very straightforward, very, very easy to implement. And that's how it's done.